quite a number of you have been coming to my inbox and comment section asking me about internet connection and how you can have a stable and successful live stream on any platform that you're live streaming to using OBS. So in this video, I'll be showing you the steps followed. So first things first, you'll need to be connected on the internet. And as you can see here, I'm connected to our Wi-Fi here. And uh, all I have to do is come and open my browser. Let me open my account here. And we shall need to first test how fast our internet is. I use this platform right here called uh, fast.com. Uh, let me refresh this. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. I can as well use some other uh, website that old speed test. I will just try out both and see how fast my internet is. It says 19 MB. PS. What 19 Mbps means is that this is how much bandwidth I have and I'll show you how I can integrate that in OBS Studio. Uh, let me also do a test run here and see how much uh, bandwidth I have. Alright, this one also says the same as you can see. It says I have 15.4 Mbps. This is for download and uh, I have 20 Mbps for upload what this is actually saying it's almost in the same range this one also says i have 19 mbps so after confirming our internet speed or after confirming our bandwidth we shall go back to obs studio and once in obs studio we shall come here to settings and come to stream uh we shall come to settings and come to output so here in output where you see video bitrate this is where you adjust your bitrate basing on the mbps that you saw on the on the bandwidth tester what mbps means is megabytes per second so one mbps represents a thousand kbps i hope you understand this one mbps represents a thousand kbps and as you can see here i have 2500 kb PS, which this means is that on the other 19 mbps i'm only using uh, if i convert this this is 2.5 mbps so meaning we have a lot of bandwidth and we shall not use it and as you can see here what i have is 2500 kbps which means i'm only using 2.5 mbps out of the 19 I repeat I'm only using 2.5 out of the 19 so meaning I can use between 2.5 and 19 yeah but of course when you use 19 then you know it will be you will have over you will have overrated or you'll have over exaggerated if it is let's say 1 mbps per second let us just put this into consideration if it is 1 mbps per second then I expect you to come here and use 1000 if it is 2 mbps per second here on our website which tests bandwidth here i i expect you to put two as the maximum i repeat as the maximum if it is four here five six seven mbps per second you can use between one kbps per second and the other number that you saw on the website i hope that is clear I hope that is very clear so you can keep adjusting the video bitrate basing on the bandwidth that the that the website is showing you uh, just to wrap it up first thing is first first test the internet speed yes first test that and know the bandwidth that you have let's say this says I let's say this says I have 5 mbps if I have 5 mbps here I will have to adjust this between 1000 kbs and 5000 kbs we said one mbps represents a thousand kbs let me repeat this one mbs represents a thousand kb represents a thousand kbps so just have that in mind meaning if the other side i have five mbps here i will do 5000 kbps once you have understood that then everything will be smooth for you you will have a successful live stream without lagging without freezing the image and the audio will be synchronizing very well and yeah definitely you have a successful live stream
So that's what you have to keep in mind. I hope this video was very helpful. Catch you in the next video.